Hi there, I'm Jessica from UPDF, presenting before you the top methods to protect PDF documents from unauthorized usage. If you also want to preserve the content of your files, this video will help you to do so as easily as possible. For this purpose, click on the link below the video to download UPDF for yourself so you can try out all of the protection methods explained throughout the video. Professionals who regularly deal with legal documents may want to protect the content of their sensitive files from unauthorized access. UPDF provides them a way to perform this task with the help of its document open password feature. Using this specific functionality, you will get a chance to set a password that readers need to enter before accessing the file content. Doing so will prevent personnel without a password from opening your private PDF document. While protecting your files with this feature, you as a user will get to select from different encryption levels, including 128-bit RC4, 128-bit AES, and 265-bit AES. Let's dig deeper into the workings of this feature and learn how to apply an open password to PDF files. After launching UPDF on your device, hit the Open File button to import the file to which you want to apply the open password. From the list, press the Document Open option and write a password to open this file in the relevant text boxes on the newly appeared dialog box. Moving forward, click the More Options drop-down icon to select the encryption level settings. When all the settings are done, hit the Apply button to set the password on your document. Once you have saved your PDF after performing these steps, you will need to write the password every time you open the file. To open the document using the password, users have to follow the simple instructions in this video. Upon entering UPDF, select Open File or select the file you would like to open. Enter your password and select Unlock to open your password protected file. After adding the open password, you can add an extra layer of security to your file to restrict the editing or printing of the document content. Users will be able to do so with the help of the permissions password feature present in the UPDF password protector. By doing so, professionals can prevent any unwanted person from making changes to their PDF to preserve content integrity. This feature proves to be valuable while handling legal documents with sensitive information. With its printing restriction feature, you can limit the PDF print quality or disable the print functionality completely to stop others from having hard copies of your files. Also, the changes allowed feature Feature allows you to control how people interact with your PDF documents. Using this particular option, you can prevent users from copying the PDF content or limit them to filling the fields only. Also, it will restrict users from deleting or adding any page to your file. While applying these restrictions, users get to choose from up to three encryption levels, such as 128-bit RC4, 128-bit AES, and 256-bit AES. The steps explained ahead will guide you through the process of adding a permission password to the PDF document. Once you import your document to UPDF, click on the Protect Using Password icon on the right side toolbar. Now choose the Permissions option from the newly appeared Encrypt with Password side menu to enter the Password Settings dialog box. Here you can create the password to protect your document. Next, click on the More Options feature and you can select Printing Allowed, which allows you to change the printing options. Changes Allowed allows you to change other features on the document and you could also choose the encryption level that you want for your PDF file. Upon applying the permission password, you will have to enter this particular password every time you need to edit or print the document. After importing this file, when you click the Edit PDF icon, a dialog box will appear on your screen, telling you to write the password so you can make changes. Here you can simply write the previously set passcode and hit the unlock button to start editing the PDF document using UPDF. The PDF protection features of UPDF don't end with simple passwords. You also get to hide sensitive information permanently using the redact feature of this tool. Before applying the redaction feature, you can set the properties for this operation to adjust the fill, border and overlaying text covering the hidden data. This redaction feature also has three modes to help users redact private data in a manner suitable to their needs. Now let's get into the details of these modes and to see how they work to protect your sensitive content. To hide any particular word or phrase, the user can utilize this mode to manually redact the content. With this feature, you can adjust the redaction properties to optimize the redaction box appearing on top of the sensitive information. In addition, users get the chance to apply overlay text with different redaction codes, including B1A and B1B. These simple steps will guide you through the process of adding redaction boxes to any image or line. Once you have opened your PDF in UPDF, go to the left-hand side toolbar and select the Redact icon. From here, you can access the properties where you can change the different features of your redaction box. 
Once you are happy with the chosen properties, just simply drag your box over text or over image in your document to redact that information. Moving forwards, you can also make use of the Redact Pages feature to hide the content of the whole page. While doing so, you get the chance to select a specific page range to apply the redaction features to all pages at once. The instructions for carrying out this function are simple and are explained in the video. Open your file in UPDF as normal and select the Redact icon from the left-hand side toolbar. Then at the top, select Redact Pages, and here you can choose what page you would like to redact. In this case, we have chosen page two, and now it is completely hidden from the viewer. Using the Find Text and Redact feature present in UPDF allows users to get the chance to find any word or phrase and hide it throughout the document. While using this feature, you can turn on the Case Sensitive or Whole Words Only feature to have a more targeted approach. Apply these simple steps explained in the video to carry out this redaction task using UPDF. Open your file in UPDF and select the Redact icon from the left-hand side toolbar. Then, at the top, select Find Text and Redact, where it will open the right-hand side toolbar for this feature. From here, type in the text that you would like to find and redact from the document, and it will show you all of the text that was found in the document. Select the ones that you would like to redact, and select Redact at the bottom. UPDF continues to deliver protection features to protect the integrity of your document content. The next protection feature we are going to discuss is the watermark feature. This feature helps to protect your files against any copyright infringement. For this purpose, you can add text, images, or PDFs as a watermark to tell people that this document belongs to you. While using the text for watermark, you can adjust the font style and opacity to optimize its appearance. In addition, users get the chance to change the orientation and position of the watermark for their desired effect. The PDF protector also allows you to add different images from different formats, including GIF, PNG and JPG as a watermark. In addition, UPDF also allows users to add a whole PDF as a watermark to their file for added protection. Now we will discuss the easy to follow instructions to add a watermark to any PDF file using the UPDF file protector. Open your file in UPDF and select page tools from the left hand side toolbar. Then select watermark at the top and this will reveal all of your watermark adding options. Today we're going to look at adding an image as a watermark to your document. Select the image tab from the right hand side toolbar and then open your desired image that you would like to add as your watermark. From here, you can change the properties of your watermark, such as changing the ratio and the opacity. Additionally, you can choose whether you want the tiled watermark, and you can also choose the position of the watermark on your PDF document. The functionality of this PDF protector doesn't stop here, as it even allows you to add a watermark to any file using the iOS app. The following detailed steps will guide you through the steps of adding a watermark via the UPDF application on your iPhone or iPad. Launch the iOS app on your iPhone or iPad and select the plus button at the bottom right hand side so you can select the file that you would like to open. Once you have opened your file, select the edit tool on the top right hand side and then select add watermark. When you add your watermark, you can add text or a file and you can also choose the different properties of your text that you want to add as your watermark, such as changing the color. You can also change the font. And there are other options such as changing the rotation and the ratio and also the location of the watermark on your document. Once you've applied the properties that you would like to set, you can select apply and it will apply your watermark to your PDF. In addition to adding watermarks, UPDF allows you to remove them from particular files if you want to make the content more accessible. Surprisingly, this tool can also remove the watermark added by other PDF editors to avoid any restrictions in content accessibility. Other than protecting files on Windows or Mac, UPDF UPDF also provides iOS users with an excellent security space to protect their documents. Using this feature, you can apply the password, touch ID or face ID to preserve your files in a secure location. This feature also supports other file formats such as images, Word or Excel worksheets to provide them a safe house away from unwanted access. By utilising the security space feature present in the UPDF iOS app, users can store their legal documents and private pictures away from everyone's eyes. If you also want to take advantage of this valuable feature, please follow the steps explained ahead. Launch the UPDF app on your iPhone or iPad and then select Security Space to open your secure space where you can store your files. 
Then select the plus icon in the right hand side corner where you can choose what file type you would like to upload to your security space. So upon watching the whole video, you have now attained experience in adding protection to your files. No matter if you have to add this protection through a password or other methods like redaction, this video has prepared you for every single circumstance. If you find this video useful, please tell us by sharing your review about this video in the comment section below. And you can also show your gratitude by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Let's meet again in our next video, but until then, goodbye!